Just after midnight Sunday on Chicago's west side, two men shot at a crowd during a block party. Deadly gun violence is surging in Chicago once again. Police say at least 57 people were shot since Friday evening during one of the most violent weekends on record. At least 52 people shot over the weekend, and we know seven of those 52 are now dead. After a horrific weekend in Chicago, more than a dozen dead and so many more injured. To Chicago now, where at least 38 people were shot over Memorial Day weekend. Seven of those victims. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Robin Amankwa, and I am currently a Board of Trustee member of Life Directions Incorporated here in the city of Chicago. I grew up on the south side of Chicago by way of Bronzeville. I attended Wendell Phillips High School Academy where I, where I first had my encounter with Life Directions. Being a part of Life Directions has shown me that growing up on the south side of Chicago, being a high school student in Wendell Phillips High School Academy in Bronzeville, that I can do anything. And I remember Father John, as I was a teenager, Father John coming to my mother's house with one of the vice presidents from Chase Bank that came to attend one of the community meetings. And we were able to sit in a circle and to talk about how could we enrich the community. So Life Directions not only was in the classroom in the high school, but it moved beyond the classroom and it went to the streets. And Life Directions brought community enrichment. We had field trips, we had leadership building opportunities, and this program not only brought together families, but it also brought together a community, and eventually Life Directions will continue to bring together the city of Chicago. And I thank God for this opportunity to be a, a part of such an outstanding organization that has not only changed my life, but impacted the community in which I grew up. Because I was a part of Life Directions through the peer mentor program, through the enrichment program, and understanding that I can be a pillar in my community, that I can take this opportunity, learn to forgive and to inspire other peers. This program has provided so much access to a world of possibilities. It's hard to think about what you can be when you don't have a place to go. Life Direction has helped to bridge that gap to bring to the table a program that is strong, that has evidence, that has been proven to increase scores in high schools, to increase those students' development to, and their understanding of who they are so that we can have a better city, a safe place to live, and a better understanding of who we are. This opportunity is available for every youth in the city of Chicago, every young adult, and we are rooting for this organization to be advanced and to be placed in other schools so that this opportunity can open up for more young people and more young adults who can bring change to the city of Chicago. And I just ask that everyone that has an opportunity to sow a seed or to give to this organization just think about it. You are giving to the next young person in the city of Chicago who may not have hope, who may need direction, who may need someone to listen to. And Life Direction has bridged the gap between the corporations and, and those that are very successful in the city. It has bridged the gap between young people that are struggling in poverty and those different neighborhoods that don't have programs. That this organization is able to come on the scene and bring the, the tools that are needed for young people to function in their everyday lives, to step out of their realities, to say, I can be great. I can do uh, phenomenal things. I can go to college. And by them having a mentor and receiving guidance and having that time to uh, uh, think about what are my goals in life, this organization provides that opportunity. If you would like to get more involved with Life Directions, you have an opportunity today. The website where you can contact Life Directions or receive that information is www.lifedirections.org. Again, that's www.lifedirections.org.